for that holiday travel, primarily west of the metro right now in our viewing area, just York and Polk County under a dense fog advisory until noon today, but that also expands out into parts of central Nebraska. So if you're heading west on I-80, especially this morning, expect lower visibility in spots right now. Zero visibility in York down to a mile in Columbus. So once you get York and westward, Expect that low visibility to impact any travel along the I-80 corridor. Now, especially early this morning where we have the fog and we've got some other clearing skies, temperatures near and below freezing. So freezing fog potential, especially some of those bridges and overpasses, if untreated, could become slick. So watching out, especially west of the metro this morning. You can see the difference, though. From northwest to southeast this morning, temperatures closer to 50 degrees. Maryville, Falls City, and Shenandoah. This is where the low cloud cover has been throughout the night, and we've been in and out of it so far in the metro, and right now sitting at 34 degrees, but expecting more of that low cloud cover to move over the metro and eventually get those temperatures back up well above freezing here before sunrise. That's a look from Methodist Women's Hospital right now. Cloud cover increasing at the moment. The wind light and fairly comfortable. Normal high temperatures this time of year. In the mid 30s, we're there here at 515. No wind, so no difference between the air temperature and the feels like. So here's Storm Predictor walking through the day. Best chance for fog again in the morning. Could have some spotty drizzle as well. Otherwise, don't really bank on seeing any sunshine. Low cloud cover overspreads the area. We're in the upper 40s, low 50s by the noon hour. Still mainly dry, cloudy, mild. Where the fog lingers likely keeps temperatures in the 40s. Where we don't see it, we'll see those temperatures in the low to mid 50s by the end of the afternoon. Now heading into the evening, may have a little stray shower for the evening drive. Can't rule out spotty showers into the evening, especially overnight south of the Omaha Metro. So really I-80 and south, the better chance to see any light rain tomorrow morning. Milder start. We're starting in the 40s. Still could be dealing with a little bit of fog, maybe a stray shower early on, but we'll see clouds clear from west to east and should see those temperatures again back in the low to mid 50s. But rain chances going up into the holiday weekend, especially on Christmas Eve Sunday. That's the best chance for widespread rainfall, but you can see the chances stick around for Christmas and then maybe Tuesday after we may be able to see a few snowflakes mix in, but expect travel impacts, wet weather, possibility some rumbles of thunder on Christmas Eve as we've got some temperatures in the mid 50s, a little bit cooler, but still keeping spotty shower chances in throughout the day on Christmas, but temperatures back into the lower 40s. There's the rain snow chance after Christmas on Tuesday. But still, as we welcome in winter, enjoy these uh, mild days leading up to Christmas with those highs in the 50s.